Ladies and gentlemen, Movie Monday is back. The show that if you play in a cemetery, the dead come back to life just to kill themselves again. It's Monday, and I brought you a movie, Killing Gunther. An action comedy starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, that's not true. This movie is written, directed by, and starring Darren Killam, who is best known for dating way out of his league. I mean, look at them. Like, two completely different species. But nice job, though. It is his directorial debut, and it could have been worse, I guess. The story takes place in a world of assassins, not the Ubisoft kind, in which Gunther is the world's greatest hitman. A hitman called Blake wants to dethrone Gunther, so he recruits a bunch of other killers to take out Gunther, and he hires a camera crew to film their victory. But no matter the plan, Gunther seems to be always one step ahead, and he makes them look like a bunch of amateurs. This is the story, without spoilers. I will give credit where credit is due. The idea for this movie is quite unique. A hitman doing a documentary about killing someone and doing it as an action comedy was the right way to go. The execution however is where the list of bad things start. The effects look like they were made in paint. With the documentary or found footage style you can make a movie from practically change but you can't get away with everything. The bad CGI is very visible in this movie. A lot of jokes fall flat or can be seen coming a mile away. Some jokes go over and over and over again. There are a fair amount of good jokes though, but most of them are in the trailer. Another sore spot of the movie is the acting. Most of the cast, including the real lead of this movie, Taron Killam, come from Saturday Night Live and they bring that kind of acting with them. And in a movie that does not work. It happens a lot in the movie that a character tells something directly into the camera and then waits, I guess, for laughter. It may work for SNL, but when there is no audience, not in a movie. By far the best acting goes to Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can tell that he had a great time doing this movie. And he has come a long way as an actor. You're addressing the captain of the ship, now you say sir to me. I'm Hercules. So you told me. No man is superior to Hercules. Wow. This makes Junior Oscar worthy. And the biggest sore spot, he's only for 20 minutes in the movie. Taron Killam is also alright, but if Arnie was not in the movie, I would not have watched it. And he could not have carried this movie alone. I will not pick on the rest of the cast, I just say some are better than others. This movie is basically a too long SNL sketch. Which is no wonder, cause... Taron and a lot of the others were longtime cast members, I think. I don't even know why Arnold took this role. Is he becoming like Nicolas Cage, who says yes to everything? Or do they keep his family hostage? Or was he a hostage? <laughs> Yo, listen to me. I made this movie because I need money for child support and Cuban cigars. <laughs> Yo. After my terrible Arnold impression, I will give this movie a 5 out of 10. Although it's a unique idea, Taron Killam bit off way more than he could chew. Writing, directing and acting in the same movie, well, he lacks the experience for that. Some jokes landed, but a lot of them did not. I was constantly waiting for Arnie to show up, and when he did, in the last 20 minutes, it was great. I would not recommend this movie for cinema, only if you are a hardcore Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, which I am. Maybe rent it or wait for the TV release, I guess. I will leave a link to the trailer down below. Now it's your turn. Have you seen this movie? What did you think of it? What is your favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Whatever your answer is, leave it down in the comment section. And if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.